Hey guys, it's Dan. Uh, I just mentioned in the last video there that I was going to do uh, a quick tutorial showing you how to uh, create a free press kit online using a tool called Canva. They have a, like a CV section or a resume section in their uh, tool. I've done a couple of tutorials on Canva to show you how to use it, but uh, I just want to show it to specifically for those that want to create their own press kits. Uh, so uh, the blog post is called Hip Hop Logs, How to Get Featured. And I was just on that point there where I was talking about uh, creating a press kit. One second now, we'll just get to that. And I was just on this, creating a professional press kit. And I'm use, I use a tool called Canva. And then I just clicked on the resume one because it's a nice template. You can design with it whichever one you want. This tool is free, guys. This is a, an amazing tool that's free, all right? You can just sign up to Canva. I use it every day in my music business, and uh, I think it's a great asset to have. As you can see, I kind of just started there. I was going to try and have this done before I did the tutorial, but we'll kind of just do it as I go along. I won't be able to complete it all because it'll take too long. A lot of the stuff is self-explanatory in a second now. So um, you can see that this is a nice template there for... Uh, for your, your own blog. So uh, Facebook, you can see that I popped in an image like that. You can just drag an image over and pop it in there like that. Uh, Kit Cuddy, I'm not making one for him, I'm making one for myself. Uh, so I'm just going to change my uh, the standard name that's on it. One second now. Uh, change my name. Ooh, I spelled my name wrong. It's bad, isn't it? I spelled it wrong twice now. One second now. And we'll just get rid of that bit down here. I'll try not waste you guys' time now, but I'll just kind of fill this blog, um, this press kit out just a little bit, and we can use it in our marketing of our music. One second now. Um, I'll just delete that. And I'll just put my logo up here. One second now. I'll just move, uh, move this down. One second now. I'll move that up to the top. I'll get rid of that diamond. Uh, second now some little images you can change all this stuff around you don't have to follow my specific one and I'm just gonna leave that up there that's my logo maybe it looks nicer if I was up in the middle a second now mm. Mm. Daniel Hartnett I'll just leave that up there mm. see this is the thing you gotta get obsessed with uh, graphics this is what happens to me as well this is why I usually get other people to kind of do little grunt work tasks like this. So you don't have to fill it out like a CV. You can just fill it out like a press kit, like you, like with the stuff that you need. So you can put in your own. Uh, Corporate Thief is my handle there on and on Twitter. It's Corporate Thief. And uh, Tumblr, it's CorporateThief at Tumblr.com. So you can see what I'm doing. Um, and I can just kind of put in, fill in a profile there as well, what I've done. One second, I've, I'll, I've loads of um, stuff on my site already, so I kind of won't bother writing all this kind of stuff. One second now, I'll just go to my bio here, my about me. It's good to kind of have bios already kind of created. Um, so you can do that by just creating videos. That's what I did with this one. I created a video of me talking about everything. And then I got someone to kind of help me write it all. So we'll just kind of copy and paste that. One second now. Don't want a big spiel of stuff to go in. So wordcounter.net. You don't have to use word counter, it's just that I just want to see how much. One second now. You can see I have a little bit of text already in there. So I'm gonna just copy and paste that now and we're gonna go back to Canva. And we're gonna Fill this up. You can change all this stuff. You can continue to add pages as well. The, the features within Canva are just amazing for a free tool. One second, I'm after losing that um, text, so we're just going to create another text document. I'm going to put it down here and we're going to fill that out. Okay, that text is too big, so I'm uh, just kind of copy and paste all that. Uh, one second now. And we'll just bring that down to 10. See if that's too big still. We'll try it at 8. And that seems to be fit more properly now. And it looks a bit more tidy now as well. Uh, you can really take your time doing this. 
uh, expertise, we'll just change the little things here, I'm not going to, uh, expertise, uh, hip hop, blogger, music, blogger, hip hop, beat maker, music, Uh, sound engineer. Um, we can just kind of put little things like that in there. Mm, blogger, music marketing blogger, music marketing blogger. Yeah, so that's plenty there for that. Skills, one second now. You don't have to fill them out like these, you don't have to stick to this template. I'm just kind of doing that for the moment now. Um, entrepreneur. Oh, communication, blogging, strategic planning. Oh, you just put in music marketing or or beat maker. Beat maker. When you guys put in what you actually are, if you're a hip hop artist, if you're a songwriter, if you're a ghost writer, things like that, you just fill it out. We'll just put that down just for a moment. Ghost writer. Things like that, and you just kind of fill this out as much as it's needed. Um, you can put in profile there, so I'm going to get rid of all that kind of stuff there. You can keep the dates and stuff if you like the headlines there, the dates that's fine. You keep them as the way the template's created. Uh, I don't really like that, I'm going to delete all that. Um, delete element, second now. And you can put links in this as well. You can put, you know, like I can change that now to a link. I can, I can put in a URL, http thief Oops, doing everything in a bit of a hurry. So I don't want to waste time doing this, but I just still want to show you the benefits of creating an, a nice old. And this is what I was mentioned before. As you can see, it's already starting to take shape. It looks a bit neat and tidier than just sending your stand, your standard. Uh, No, I got rid of that. Standard kind of um, wall of links and texts. So you can put in profile there. I'll put in another bit of my bio. Where did I have my bio? Beatmaker. So there's another little bit of behind the beatmaker. And just kind of lay it out as best you can. So it's easy for someone to read. That's the main thing you got to think of this, all right? Make it as easy as possible for someone to read. Now that writing looks terrible on that. So but. You can change all the templates around to your own, uh, your own, the own, your own way that you like it. One second now, I think twelve is plenty. And kind of lay it out, maybe kind of put it this way instead in the middle. That looks a bit neater now. Okay, and we can put in where you can find my music. One second now, you can duplicate these kind of little headings as well. You just hold down Alt and kind of drag them out. Now I have another little heading. And now I have another little bit of education. So I'm not going to put education, I'm going to put down uh, music profiles. So that's something that uh, rap bloggers are going to look for. And you can find the, your, so I'm not going to go looking for logos and stuff like that now because it's just going to take too long. So I'll just kind of put in a, a Facebook one here. You can kind of do that as well. So you can find me on Facebook. And there's one there for Facebook. Um, second now. And one second, I don't want Drake in that. <laughs> Get out. One second now. Um, let's say if you had uh, my mixtapes, if you have a profile on my mixtapes, uh, be careful on what uh, sites. Sometimes uh, these sites don't get along with each other, so um, be careful what you're putting up. You can see my mixtapes, and uh, SoundCloud is another one. So you can keep doing stuff like this. Make it as neat and tidy as possible. And you can put links to all these things in there as well. So I'm just gonna put in one more now because you kind of you're kind of getting the drift of what I'm doing here. And like I said before, you just hold that image down, put in the link to Audio Mac then, and 
once you download this PDF, you can click all these links then as well. You can do that for those links that I put there. If it was just a text link, you type it in there and you type type it in how you want that link to go, where that, that site you want it to go. And let's say as seen on, so let's say if you have any kind of features on certain blogs, like I said before, put in, oh, I was featured on uh, two dope, dope boys, if you were, don't so put it down if you aren't <laughs> featured on these blogs, because you get into a lot of trouble. Uh, that's DJ Booth, sorry, my mistake. Uh, I know I'm going to get hurtled abuse for that now, saying it was two dope boys, but that's two dope boys. Uh, logo, and uh, that's DJ Booth. And uh, one second, what a site. Uh, oh, yeah, I have a couple here DIY musician. Uh, so just try and make you yourself sound more professional every time. That's all. That's all I'm trying to get you to do. And you can see that the, this press kit is actually taking its shape and what it can actually do for you as well. And uh, the more information that you put in there, the better. So you can put in your shows, recent life shows. Shows uh, slash events. And you can just kind of continue to kind of change this around. You don't have to stick to the rigid template that's given what you hear. Uh, I'm just using this because it, it makes it quicker to create this. You can change the color of the background. So if you wanted a red to match my, my website, it looks a bit neater there already. One second, light blue, I think I really like there. That's a really nice one. But it doesn't really make the writing stand out. You can make it white. Um, that baby blue was actually nice. Uh, all that kind of stuff is subjective. It's all what what you, what suits you and your needs. You can continue to build on this thing as well. You can make other pages there and continue to talk more about your music. The more information you give to that blogger, the more they can write about you. They don't know you when you start off, all right? So you have to make yourself uh, put in. You can put in your links, your stores, your merch links where they can buy your merch, and all this stuff is just to help the blogger actually write about you. Uh, and then you can just to download it. You just click the download button, all right, and just download it as a PDF. And uh, one second, I will just show you that. Oh, oh wait, wait for a second. As you can see there, uh, these little images, these little icons are paid things. Um, what's their names? Canva is a free tool, but uh, they have little icons and stuff like that in there that are you have to pay for it. So. My suggestion is to just replace them with free ones that you find on the internet. So I'm not going to bother with that now in a second because it's going to take too long. One second now. I just want to get to show you that. So you can put in little icons there as well. You don't have to stick with the ones that you have. One second, I'll just stick in some ones that I have of my own. It's a Twitter one. I'll just make it a little bit neater. And I had a Facebook one there somewhere. Oh yeah, there it was. Put that face on that. There again. Oops. My social links. Obviously, you have to spend your time on this. And this is what I was telling you before. You waste a lot of time doing grunt work. Uh, one second, I'll just make that a link. So you can see that it changes to a link later. One second now. HTTPS. What do we got? Facebook.com slash corporate thief. And you can kind of apply. And now I'm just going to download that. One second, I'll just see if this is still recording. It is, yeah. One second, I'm downloading this. And obviously, give it a name as well. Uh, Daniel Hartnett. The corporate thief. This is important because this is the little note that's on their desktop. Beat maker. Uh, so you put in what you are. You are singer songwriter, ghostwriter, hip hop writer, musician. You put that in there. Download the little PAF PDF, and then this is your little. Make it as best you can. Uh, I just I'm just going giving a brief introduction on how to do this. Uh, one second now. <clears throat> And we can see the PDF is on my desktop now. We open up this PDF. And we can see that it's done for us. Now, okay, obviously I haven't linked all those sites. But you can see that this link works here. Now this should take us to my Facebook page. And it does. 
Corporate Thief Beast Facebook page and it's just so neat and professional. That's the main thing you guys have to think about. Uh, again, as linking to the corporatethiefbeast.com Exactly. This is exactly what it's for. Uh, as you can see, you can get obsessed with actually creating stuff like this. So that's why I always suggest to people to come on to fiverr.com and just type in the word press kit one second. Now, just see if someone else does it quicker or cheaper than using our own time. One second, I'll just type in press kit, press release. Let me just see if someone does it one second now. Oops, logged out of that. One second now. I'll wrap this video up now in a second. Didn't want it to go really long, I just really wanted it to be quick. Uh, one second now, press. The reason why my computer is going slow is because this video recording takes up so much uh, energy out of my computer, compu uh, CPU. Press um, kit. I'll make a media press kit. You can see that guy has already got um, some reviews already. You can see all, oh, there's tons of them here. You don't have to use Fiverr, there's other sites out there. Just Google press kit, but let's say, let's take a look at this guy. Well, he hasn't got good reviews. Uh, wait a minute, it took a while, but got it. Not accepted reviews. Uh, he got a one bad review. Uh, meh. Maybe he's not the best guy. Um, it's important to kind of read the reviews. One second, see what this person does. One second now, and you can see their add-ons as well. They have basic bio, and uh, they charge different prices. Some will actually charge different prices. They also do some kind of distribution as well. Some people will do that. It's up to you to kind of research what what person does the best thing. Thanks for your gig. Great seller, fast and professional. So do your research if the, those people are worth actually using and see how much they cost. See how much cheaper other ones are and see if it's actually worth paying a little bit more to someone who's actually as good at doing this. Dude, these don't look that bad actually. These are actually okay. Maybe it's a bit basic. Um, but uh, you can see that the ones on Fiverr aren't that bad that I've made and I just kind of whipped this out on a whim in a couple of minutes and you can see how professional it looks already. Uh, so this was Dan with the Corbin Thief Beats. I hope this little small tutorial kind of helps you on uh, creating a press kit. Uh, if you've got any more questions, leave them in the description and I'll get back to you in the next video. Take care guys.